Hey, hey artists, welcome to another tutorial. Today, we're gonna be learning how to paint realistic gray tabby cat fur that is still full of life and vibrance, even though it belongs to a gray cat. Now, tabby cat fur is pretty unique in the fact that from a distance, it might look like gray fur, but when you look up close, it really isn't. <laughs> we will see why. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be painting with oil paint, but you can definitely get the same effect with acrylics. I highly recommend using a slow drying medium with your acrylics so that you can extend that drying time and make your painting process easier. I painted exclusively with acrylics for years, so I know it's definitely possible. You can also find the list of colors that I used here on the screen. Now, if you're craving more help and want the full real-time tutorial complete with my voice walking you through every single moment, paint mixing recipes, reference photos, and more, I think you will love the Wildlife Painting Academy. New tutorials are added each month, and it truly is your secret weapon for learning how to paint realistic wildlife easily. You can check it out in the description of this video. So I'm starting off by basically sketching out where the different features are gonna go with ivory black here. So I'm using a really big brush. I just wanna get in some, you know, basic shapes. I'm not going with any detail yet. Basically showing where the darkest parts of the painting are gonna go and some additional markings. Although it's really hard to tell on the screen here, I'm actually going in with a lighter tone now. I added a tiny bit of titanium white to my paint, and now I'm starting to block in the next lightest shade. It's still very, very dark, but we're gonna start to build up from darkest to lightest. I added more titanium white here, still using a really large brush because I wanna cover a lot of ground and I also wanna prevent myself from jumping into detail too quickly. And now adding even more titanium white, I'm going to put in those brightest markings. This gray tabby had kind of a white ring of fur around its eyes, so I'm going in here adding even more titanium white to my gray fur and just getting in that nice ring. So now it's time to do something about that staring zombie eye. So I'm starting off here. I'm actually going to paint the eye in grayscale, and then we're going to add some color with glazes. So I'm starting off by putting that cast shadow underneath the lid and then putting a medium-ish tone gray where the bulk of the iris is going to go. I'm also using a small round brush here with ivory black to reinforce the sort of black flesh around the eye and also to put in that pupil and to start to add a little bit of texture and detail to that eye. All right, now it's time to start to build up some texture and detail. Still working with a really large brush here, going in with ivory black to start to basically brush in where those markings are gonna go and to start to build up some of that fur texture. I blended things out a little bit with a dry brush and now I'm going in with a smaller round brush here to actually start to build in some really nice texture and details. I'm gonna start off by adding my darkest details first. So I'm gonna be using lots of ivory black here and this is gonna be in the shadow regions but also in the markings. So gray tabby fur is really interesting in the fact that when you stand back, you look like you're looking at a gray cat. But when you look really closely at that fur, the hairs itself, they're not all gray. You're actually gonna see a lot of gray hairs in there, but you're also gonna see some pure black and some pure white. And that together is gonna make a sort of gristled, mottled looking gray. So it's pretty signature to these gray tabby cats. So now I'm going in with some lighter paint, still working with a pretty large filbert brush, and I'm gonna to start to build up some of these lighter portions of the fur texture. So 
So we've got our gray base and now I'm gonna actually go in and brush in individual white hairs and then we're gonna do the same thing with the black hairs. All right, it's time to add some life to this fur. I let it dry for a few days so the paint is completely dry, and now I'm going in and adding a glaze layer here. I'm using a little bit of burnt umber so that the fur isn't just plain old boring gray anymore. We're gonna add some nice light to it. I'm also glazing with some sap green and yellow ochre here over the eye, and that's how we're gonna build up that beautiful tones in the eyes. I wanted to add just a tiny little hint of blue in the center around the pupil there, so I went in with phthalo blue with some glaze just to punch up that saturation. I wanted to add a little bit more warmth to some areas of the fur, so I'm going in with even more burnt umber here in a few strategic areas. So now I'm going in with ivory black again, and I'm gonna strengthen some of those markings, and I'm also gonna strengthen the detail of that fur. I'm also gonna be working some nice bright highlights and details into that wet glaze layer here with some titanium white. I'm carefully adding in those few last individual hairs that are really gonna make this painting pop. I switched to a smaller round brush here to get in even more tight detail. You want to pay really close attention to your reference photo. You want to make sure that you're always stroking your brush in the direction that the fur grows in and also trying your best to be accurate as far as the texture of the fur and the length. These are all really, really important features of fur. And finally, the highlight in that eye. So I'm going in with some titanium white that I've thinned out with a bit of glazing medium, and I'm gonna carve out that beautiful domed highlight that is just gonna add so much light and life to our eye. I'm also going in and putting in a few more last minute details like whiskers and individual hairs. And we're done. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial for how to paint realistic gray tabby fur. It can seem a little tricky at first, but when you break it down and you really look at what that fur is made of, it makes it so much easier. I hope you can use what you learned here to create a beautiful painting of a gray tabby cat of your own. Now, the full real-time tutorial with my voice walking you through every moment can be found inside the Wildlife Painting Academy. There is a link in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Please hit that big beautiful subscribe button if you wanna keep learning how to paint realistic wildlife easily. 
If there are any animals that you want to learn how to paint, leave me a comment and I will add it to the list. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.